Welcome to the FT headquarters for the latest in the PWM expert series of videos. Today we are focusing on how wealth managers and private bankers can use options to help manage client portfolios and I'm delighted to have with me in the studio Gary Delaney, Director of European Marketing and Education for the Options Industry Council. In Chapter 1 we are discussing how wealth managers can use equity options. Gary, why should wealth managers trade US listed equity options instead of buying potentially safer US mutual funds? I think there are a, a number of reasons that we should look at here. Um, firstly, the um, equity options are extremely liquid and transparent. Um, so you can actually see um, how the product is constructed. You can, you can mark it to market, you can trade in, uh, you can trade out. Um, I think also the, the other consideration is that if you look at um, options, they give you a, uh, a non-linear uh, return. Uh, so you can actually structure the uh, product that you're trading by using varieties of puts and calls, buying or selling, whatever. There are many, um, many elements that you, can, that you can change to achieve your desired um, investment outcome. So basically, this is a contract which gives the buyer the right to sell the underlying asset at a specific price before a specified date. Uh, that is that is correct, but also we should say that it gives, depending if you're buying a put or a call, a put obviously gives you the, the option to put away from you to sell the underlying, a call the opposite to, to you know, call uh, the stock uh, to you. Um, you can do that at the same price as the, as the current market price, the so-called at the money, or you can do them at, at strike prices, at exercise prices above or below the market, so they can be uh, out or in the money. And in addition to that, you've got a, a variety of, of maturities. So if you were to look at um, the underlying as being black or white, depending whether it's making a profit or a loss, uh, you could say that the options give you, um, I won't say 50 shades of grey, but they give you many shades of grey to, to mirror what you're trying to do. But are there risks attached to the trading of options which might not be there if you were trading the underlying stocks? It depends what you are doing. Um, if you are uh, writing options, that is, taking on an obligation, saying I, if, if the market moves against me, I'm committed to, to do this, I suppose you could say that that was uh, a risk. But is that really more risky than holding the underlying and having it uh, go against you? Um, so I suppose, again, we come back to the fact that the uh, relationship um, with the underlying is, is linear and with the, the, the option it is, it is asymmetrical. But was there perhaps a time when you would start talking about derivatives and the, the potential clients that you were explaining these things to, would they perhaps even show you the door and say we don't want to expose our clients to these risky products, the end of conversation. Uh, that is absol absolutely right. Um, I've been um, working in the options space for over 30 years and if you, you had had this, this conversation with a potential user in the past, there were um, some of them who were very um, stuck in the mud and they would say options or futures? Oh, I'm sorry, we don't speculate. And, and, and would, would show you the door. But I think that we have come a long way since then, and uh, derivophobia, if I, if I may term it that, has um, ebbed, although, of course, the um, financial crisis of 2008, I think, um, probably um, threw some more um, uh, petrol on the, on the fire. 